What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. For this week's episode I have our monthly update for the 100 year anniversary for Nosberry Farm and this week's list of top 10 items. So for this particular review I wanted to share 10 shops where you can get varying kinds of goods and products that support or sell all sorts of different things that you can buy at the park. Um, all of the items that you see here can be purchased within the park, so you do need to be inside and visit all of them. So it's not like you have to go to a separate place or leave the park and come back. This is all stuff that while you're enjoying the park and walking around the various areas, you can check out, um, browse, buy, whatever, and otherwise just enjoy and purchase and all of that good stuff. So in my usual uh, roundup, it's, it's gonna start off starting in Ghost Town, but it's gonna kind of go all over the place depending on the route that you take. But I'll give a general idea of where all the sh uh, shops are as I'm going so that um, you get a general idea of where it's at. So as you're enjoying the day, you kind of know where all these shops are located. So to start it off, um, as usual, we started in Ghost Town. So one of the first shops that you approach is the Geode Shop. So um, it's, what you have here is just a shop that sells various um, rocks and gems and um, other, you know, basically just rocks and geodes that you can buy. So if you like, you know, gemstones, then you can buy one based on your birth month. If you want it just, you know, a souvenir of gold and stuff like that, or you want a good statue that's generally on the higher side of prices and stuff, but if you want a souvenir like that, then the Geo shop sells um, a whole bunch of different things for you to buy. But otherwise you can just peruse what's there and they have things like dinosaur fossils if you want a souvenir like that as well. So it's a pretty small shop, but it is fully uh, featured as far as being able to buy a number of different things. Um, but if you do want to go and do, you know, panning for gold, you can walk around the corner past the entrance to Ghost Rider and pan for gold if you want a more, kind of a more immersive experience of finding your own gems and geodes and panning for gold on your own. Um, from here, if you make a, or if you continue into Ghost Town, make a right, uh, you'll come across the Gold Trails Hotel. So this is kind of a gift shop style shop where you can buy you know, uh, ghost town themed items. So you have, you know, hats and mugs and souvenirs and things like that. So it's basically just another word for saying gift shop, but um, essentially you have a gift shop built into a hotel and you can, you know, buy a small amount of a variety of different things. Um, but to that point, the next store that you can come across as you're going through ghost town is and basically, if you exit the store to the right and make a right and go down that street, you'll come across the general store. So in the general store, it's kind of a bigger version of the Gold Trails Hotel. So, so you'll see some of the same things sold in the general store, but a whole bunch of um, additional items. So you can buy, you know, um, additional, or is it, actually it's like a combination between the Gold Trails Hotel and the Geo Shop because you can buy um, additional stones and rocks and things like that, candy, um, uh, root beer, which I forget what that um, actual, I think it's sarsaparilla, um, and then, you know, cap guns, BB guns, uh, sweaters and souvenirs and things like that. So essentially a bigger gift shop that combines the Gold Trails Hotel and the Geode Shop. Um, and then also as you're, you know, waiting or whatever, and if the table is open, they have an oversized checker or an oversized mini checkers board so you can play checkers if you want to relax in the store so um, definitely worth checking that out. Um, from here if you make your way over into the Rory, Roaring 20 section there's a couple of different um, shops that you can check out. So the first one is the factory store so you can get to the store as you're exiting the 
um, Berry Tales ride, or as you're going down the road, you'll see that entrance to the shop off to your left. It connects directly into the arcade. So there's a couple of different ways to get into the store. And this is kind of just a small outlet shop that has um, board games and souvenirs and things like that as far as um, buying things. It's kind of like an, a gift shop, but more themed for the Roaring Twenties. Um, there are, I think, a couple of Ghost Town related items, but it's more Roaring Twenties theme in themed in general. So um, that's kind of what you get with the factory outlet store. So, you know, souvenirs and stuff themed to that particular area. And then if you go across the street, you can head on over to a shop called Cordy's Corner, which has a few more items beyond what the factory store sells. So you have, you know, various peanuts items, uh, berry tails related items, a couple of ghost town items as well in the far corner, but it's more just general peanuts and berry tails themed items. So a few more gift shop related items. So um, if you don't find what you want in the factory store, then Cordy's Corner is the way to go. Um, this store is also particularly good because it connects directly into the candy shop. So if you want to buy some candy, then you have a nice connecting um, little um, alley or doorway to get into there. If you don't want to go outside and go back inside. So a uh, fun little fact there that the, stu the candy shop and Cordy's Corner are connected, but you don't necessarily have to visit both if you don't want to. But um, in any case, Cordy's Corner is kind of... Um, the, it's basically the like the Roaring Twenties version of the general store, and then the factory shop is kind of the Roaring Twenties version of the Gold Trails Hotel. So that's kind of that compare and contrast of the kind of things you'll get in each area. So whichever one you prefer more, you can visit that one, but they're both well stocked in various items. So there's a good chance you'll find what you want um, in each store or in all of the stores. Uh, from here, we're going to head on over all the way to the uh, Fiesta Village area, and there's a couple of places we're going to stop here. So the first is Fiesta Mercado. So this is a store that you um, approach as you're entering the Fiesta Village from the boardwalk side. So when you're going in that direction, you'll see the sign for Fiesta Mercado on your left-hand side. You'll have a few um, shops and stuff there, but you'll also see more items across the street on your right-hand side. So definitely check out both sides of the street. It's not just, it's all one shop basically, but it's split off onto both sides. Um, and this is kind of, you know, your streetwear, street fair kind of theming that you have going on. So if you've been to, you know, like the Orange County Fair or the Los Angeles County Fair or whatever you have in your um, local neighborhood or even, you know, a farmer's market, that's kind of the theme you have here. You know, it's a street shop, street uh, stalls and themes and that sort of stuff. So definitely worth checking out. You get a lot of Fiesta Village and Hispanic um, heritage and cultural themed items. So if you want something along those lines, then Fiesta Mercado is a good place to stop um, or stop at and peruse and buy what you want. If you don't find what you want here or you want a few additional items to check out, I recommend going around the corner. So if you exit that area, go down past uh, Jaguar, past the um, Mary go around and go to that little alleyway between Fiesta Village and um, Silver Bullet, you know, before that little undercarriage to go back into Ghost Town. Um, this is that street before, you know, where you see the train, the calico train on your right hand side. Um, Knott's Berry Farm has what they call a street called Avenida del Sabor, which I'm probably saying that wrong, but I guess Fla Flavor Avenue or something along that, those lines loosely translated or Where's Avenue or something like that, I guess. Uh, my Spanish and Mexican is a rusty, so pardon me for that. But essentially you have these street vendors. So you have a couple of stalls for food and a couple of stalls for um, merchandise and souvenirs and things like that. So um, definitely worth checking out if you want a few other different wares that are not available in Fiesta Village. Um, as you're approaching the street, you do have a couple of stalls um, across from the stage where the mariachi um singers and bands play so you can get, check out some wares there but basically the avenida del sabor has all of this flavor that are all these stalls and um stands and merchandise for you to check out so if you want a few additionally themed items that fiesta mercado doesn't have then these other stalls should have something that you're looking for or may have something that also 
particularly interests you. Um, so now that we're heading in this direction, we're going to head back into Ghost Town. So if you go through that underpass that I was talking about before, you're heading towards, you know, the Calico Saloon on your left and the ice cream shop on your right. If you go straight down that street, you're going to eventually um, end up to or end up at the Ghost Town Toy Junction and Novelty Shop. So I, li I particularly like this shop because if you're interested in um, Not Scary Farm or even, you know, the Dias de los Muertos, then this store actually has a bunch of merchandise related to um, Halloween and scary stuff and all of that. And the reason I put this store here is to kind of to merge the two different themes of um, Not Scary Farm and, you know, things like Dias, Dios de los Muertos where you know you have um, skull souvenirs, skull caps and drinks and things like that and dragon souvenirs and uh, dragon themed mugs and things like that so that's kind of why I like this shop that it kind of merges the two themes and you can get um, those kinds of thing, um, souvenirs if you're so interested so um, it's a small shop doesn't have a whole lot going on it's kind of along the lines of one of the street shops at Avenida del Sabor but it has a couple of interesting items with theme to that particular um, part of the year, culture and all of that. So definitely worth checking out if you want something specifically themed for Halloween, horror, uh, scary things and that sort of stuff. Now to round out the last couple of shops as far as moving away from these themed areas. So uh, on the way to um, Camp Snoopy, there's a shop called The Glass Shop. So if you're interested in Native American culture and um, glass souvenirs and things like that, the glass shop actually has a couple of different items that may be of interest. So um, there's things like a dream catcher and various other Native American themed items. So, you know, things related to nature and animals and spirits and things like that, but also a glass shop where I believe you can, you know, buy different various glass themed items, um, paint stuff I think because they have a um, table for decorations and stuff like that. So another small shop but um, like the name says it's a glass shop so a lot of glass items so definitely worth checking out. It's on the way to just about everywhere in the park and in that particular um, area of ghost town so you know you're going by the ghost trails hotel is there you're going from ghost town to camp snoopy or ghost town to the boardwalk if you're going in that direction you're most likely going to pass by it so a shop that's definitely worth checking out but once you've checked that out if you find something you liked and you're done or you didn't really find anything of interest for that particular trip if you head on over to camp snoopy there's a store called the camp snoopy store very simply named but it has a lot of items, you know, stuff mostly uh, for kids, but if you want, you know, Camp Snoopy themed items like mugs or a uh, plush toy or candy and things like that, then the store has a bunch of different items to check out. So um, it's a nice little shop on the way, you know, whether you're entering Camp Snoopy or you're leaving, but if you want, you know, uh, Snoopy and Woodstock plush, it has that. If you want a Camp Snoopy mug or a Lego set or something like that, then the Camp Snoopy store has a little bit of everything for you to check out and buy. So those are the bulk of the stores to check out in the park. There are a, a lot of other places to check out, you know, food related and souvenirs and all of that. But if you want, you know, specific places to go, then all of these shops will have a little bit of something for you to check out and buy if you so want. Um, and not to mention all the various other stores and stop places to stop if you want to check out various other items, but um, this lets you to walk around the park, experience a little bit of everything so you can check it all out. Now let's say you don't have time to go into the park and check out all these shops, you don't want to spend a couple of hours or you're just stopping by to buy souvenirs and stuff and you don't necessarily want to go into the park to do that. Then the Knott's Marketplace actually has two places of note to um, buy stuff that you can check out. So the first is Virginia's Gift Shop, which is a pretty big store out, right, directly outside of the park. So you can actually park at the Marketplace parking lot and check it out. Um, they have, you know, things like boysenberry jam, souvenirs, sweaters, mugs, um, ghosts or um, scary farm themed items when the when it comes to that time of the year 
and all sorts of various souvenirs that's kind of like the top sellers of the various things that Nosberry Farm sells. So you don't necessarily have to go into the park, but if you know you want a specific Nosberry Farm souvenir, then you can go to Virginia's gift shop, check out whatever they're selling at that time of the year, and buy something. You don't have to go to the park to do that. You don't have to spend time uh, or extra time that you don't want to, or even money for that matter, to go into the park, go to the, all the different stores. You can just head into Virginia's gift shop and check it out. Um, if you want a little, or if you want something that's a little bit more kid friendly, or not necessarily something that's available in Virginia's gift shop. Across the street is a Peanuts headquarters, so you have, you know, a lot of the various Peanuts plush. Um, you can go across the, um, into the store across the way a little bit to go into the um, more kid-friendly items, so like smaller clothes and smaller mugs and that are, you know, more plasticky, so more kid-friendly. But the Peanuts headquarters has a whole bunch of different items, similar to what you can buy in the park, but in this outlet-style shop, so you can go into Peanuts headquarters and buy you know, mugs and sweaters and plushes and things like that. So some of the stuff might overlap a little bit with Virginia's gift shop, but Peanuts headquarters is geared a little bit more towards being kid friendly while Virginia's gift shop is more general purpose and geared towards a, a little bit of everybody, more a little bit more adult themed in that it's more adult sized mugs and clothes and things like that. So. Depending on who you're buying the gifts and souvenirs for, you can go to one or both of the shops to buy what you need. And it doesn't require you going into the park, so um, you have a few different options of buying what you need. It's all in one area, so you're not going too far away from the park if you need to do um, your shopping. And you have those options if you want to go into the park to go on you know, different rides and food and shopping and all of that, do it all in one place. But the shops outside let you do um, your shopping without having to do worry about everything else and extra lines and parking and crowds and all of that different stuff. So that is all for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback or anything like that, you can comment on this post on social media, all of which is linked on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. Um, I, the video version of this review will also be posted on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash PatelN01. The show notes will have a link to the photo gallery so you can have a visual of what all of diff the different stores look like. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what the merchandise looks like, the theming for the stores, and generally just, like I said, what they look like. So um, that link will be in the um, show notes. Um, the sl video slideshow is also up on the YouTube channel, so you can check that out there. But um, like I said, feedback and all of that and all the links and related items supporting the show, past episodes and all of that stuff can be found on the website at headphonesneal.review. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.